girl. Maybe it's the music. Oh, you think so? Girl, it be doing that. But mostly does that for Facebook. Instagram now does it. Your Instagram do that shit. It must be the music. Yeah. Go back on Facebook. Hey y'all, I'm sorry the connection is terrible in here. It is terrible. But she doing, I mean, I wanna show y'all what it look like. But the connection is so bad. Every time we get really good, look, see this one? See? But every, time, <coughs> every time we get real good, girl. Hold on. Look how I dropped my people down and damn 60 some people, girl. It was hundreds of people in here. Okay, they behave now. Hey, y'all. I think it's the music. Because they be picking that stuff up. Who is that calling me? Who is that calling me right now? Hmm? Who is that calling me right now? Steven? Girl, what's the tea? Girl, I'm here doing my nails. Mm-hmm. Girl, I'm home. All right, just call me. Girl, I don't know. I'm here getting my nails done right now. I haven't decided on that yet because I haven't decided what I'm going to do for Christmas yet. I ain't really had no big feelings about it yet. Mm-hmm. They telling me they mad because I ain't say that live from yesterday. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Okay, I see what you're doing here. What? What am I doing? I see what you're Something. doing. <laughs> yeah. Okay, but I changed. Okay, girl. Well, call me when you done, uh, when you done got set. Let me let, let me get on here and do this. Let these folks see my nails. All right, bitch. Okay, bye. Okay. Well, you said y'all love my live last night. Thank you. You five too? Damn, you got a lot of ass. I know. Bitch, I'm going okay, okay for the upgraded dick grabbers. Y'all crazy. I seen that video that girl singing like with she could sing, but I'm telling you, it ain't but one voice. Y'all could play them games all day. She could sing, but it's nothing, it's but one voice. I don't know what's going on with the service, Chi Chi. You already know just I'm somewhere on the other side of Atlanta, and this this just not right. I'm scared to make you a moderator. Where's Kayla? Cause Chi Chi, you a block everybody and I be needing my people on here. Okay. I'm finna send it to you, girl. Let me make Chi Chi a moderator real quick. Cause Chi Chi will be not. But y'all, that means y'all better be careful because, you know, Chi Chi gonna pull y'all together. I can't even see Chi Chi no more. Just, girl, it's y'all finna get God. So y'all better watch what you say. You better watch what you say. Um, you ask me when I'm coming back to South Carolina? I'm always scared to make Chi Chi a moderator because it's it's that it's gonna be it's finna get real ugly up in here. It's finna be vanishing. Y'all say the wrong thing if you want to. Y'all say the wrong thing if you want to, and don't message me telling my son, please take me out because Chi Chi blocked me. I ain't got nothing to do with that. You gotta watch what you say. Oh, 
So this is just the base of it. Mm -hmm. You get ready to turn up. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes. Oh, so this is gel. Mm hmm That's how I did Tammy's nails. Are you gonna do my feet too? Are you gonna do my feet? Yeah. Chichi -chi don't go now. Listen, I start seeing the people vanishing. I'm gonna take you for the moderator now. You can't be blocking everybody. You can't do that, Chichi. -chi. Oh, they cute. They real cute. I had to get these two short for my for my contacts. Y'all say who is Chichi -chi Daddy though? Hush. <laughs> Hush. Oh, I see what you're doing. Oh, I see what you're doing. Where you learn how to do nail care? Did you um, go to school? I for went nails? to school. Yeah, I went to school for nails, but they don't really teach you like anything creative. They just teach you like the basic, how to like just put them on with the art and everything. I kind of just like learned it myself, watching videos. So when did you know that you you were when, when did you discover your sexuality? Middle school. In middle school. In middle school, yeah. So when you were in middle school, you just started liking girls in middle school, or were you? you no, you, I was a child, and I always. So you, as a girl, as a child, you already knew. You always I already knew. knew I had an attraction to, to like other girls. Right. And then so, I thought like it was not normal. So when I tell people, <clears throat> you know, because people like to say that gay. It's a lifestyle. It's not a lifestyle. It's not a lifestyle. It's just Somebody true. can think it's a lifestyle and want to go that route, but they're not being true to themselves. Or maybe they're just curious or, you know, trying. But I feel like when you know, you just, you know, from when you're young. And I grew up in a Christian, you know, family. I went to church. You know, my parents were married. So it's not like, you know how people are like, oh, it's because you've seen it somewhere. Or, or you were molested. Or if something happened to you, like sexually assaulted. Or no, none of that. It's just, I just knew, you know. Hmm. Okay. So see? Yeah. And so what is your, what's your nationality? What are, what is you, what are you? I'm Cuban and white. You're Cuban and white. Mm -hmm. So my, my dad's white and then my mom's Cuban. Okay, so how did your mom feel about you being? She was, I came out to her when I was in eighth grade. Mm -hmm. So she was okay with it. I mean, she was shocked for sure, but you know, she basically just said, you know, what a, you know, if this makes you happy, if you're happy, then I'm happy. Are you, have you ever been with a man before? No. Oh, so you're a golden, you're a gold star gay. I guess so. <laughs> Is that what they call it? Yes, it's a gold star gay. Right. Do you get mad when people, or do you get offended, like, sometimes when people say, well, how you know you, you're you not going to like a man if you don't try? Because I know they do. I know. They, yeah, uh, I know. I, that does bother me. I know they say that a I'm lot not... to women. Like, they say that a lot to women. How do you know that you don't like a man if you've never tried it? Right. No, I just feel like. You don't have to try something to know you, you don't like it. You know what I mean? I don't know. Because it's an attraction thing. So, the very first time you were in love, you were in love with the woman. With the woman, yeah. My high school sweetheart. Oh, high school mm -hmm. sweetheart. Yeah. And when you came out to your mom in eighth grade. Yeah. Did, what was her reaction? How did she... What she did was she... like, we need to go get a milkshake. Really? <laughs> I swear to God. So let's talk about your dad. Oh, no. He found out through Facebook. Oh, my God. So why were you afraid to, to give that information to your dad? Because he's more religious. And... And he's white. Yeah. He's more religious and, um, I guess, more conservative, I guess, in a sense. So I didn't feel comfortable, like, telling him. He found out through Facebook after a photo I posted, and he was asking me, like, what it meant and stuff. And then he, then he asked me, he's like, are you gay? Do you like girls? And then I just said, yeah. And then he just laughed and left the room. And then he just felt so uncomfortable. Um, but he's okay with it now. I just, 
I don't know. Like, he's met previous, you know, exes that I've been with, but... Girl, how many exes you got, girl? I know. Mm-hmm. You a Scorpio? Yeah. Oh, God. I think I'm a... What is it called? A serial monogamous? What is a serial monogamous? That's what my friend called me. Oh, she God, said... Oh, what I did. Oh, my God. It's okay. Well, because I needed to put one nail in and not right, all right. of them. Um, what is it called? She called me a serial monogamous dater. Because it's like, once I'm with someone, I'm with you for, like, a year or, like, longer than a year. I'm not just dating you for like two, three months and then breaking up and getting with someone else. So it's like, I'll date you. We're going to be together for a while. And then I'll break up and then a few months later, get into another serious long-term relationship. So this is my, this is where I'm confused. Mm-hmm. So you, you date and then you'll break up and then you'll get into another serious long- Serious long relationship. Well, that's not a long-term relationship if it's only a year. That's only three hundred. Well, much- not a year. Okay, so the one the one that I just had, we're together for two years. The girl before that, we're together for five years. And then the one before that, my high school sweetheart, we're together for two, two years? Two, three years? Are you possessive? I, I am. And that's such a bad trait. And that's the problem I have in all my relationships. That you're possessive. I'm possessive and controlling. And I'm now just realized that I am. Before I was in denial about it. Now, well, I'm realizing my Do you flaws. think that you take time to heal in between your relationships? That's what I'm learning now, too, about myself. Oh my God, you making me red. I'm thinking about myself. You about to cry? No, I'm not gonna cry. I'm just like, I feel like, oof. Like, you feel like the, that I'm, like, interrog- you know, I'm, I'm, I'm interrogating you and you're on the spot? Yes, I feel like I'm on the hot spot. This is the hot seat. Okay, well, you are in the hot seat because I'd like to know these things because, you know, these are definitely traits of a Scorpio. Oh, yeah, for sure. So, what is the reason why that your relationship, you, you get to a breaking a breakup point? What happened? I feel like toxic. Who's arguing. toxic? You or them? Both. Both of you are toxic. Both. Um, so, do you consider yourself monogamous when you're in the relationship? Oh, yeah, for sure. 100% monogamous. So, what... Because I, I just don't understand what would make someone break up with you. You're so sweet. Well, my the ex that um, previously... She broke up with me. The one before that, that we're together for five years, I broke up and other things were. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm sweet, but who's, that's my problem. When you keep pushing me to my limit, I can get kind of. Well, well, whose fault do you think it was? Was it yours? Oh, it's mine for sure. Well, how is it your? How? No, I wouldn't say completely it's my fault because when you're triggered by something and you keep telling a person not to do something and they keep pressing your buttons, pressing your buttons, pressing your buttons, you're going to come to a breaking point. Well, what to was where? She, how was she pressing your buttons? Was she faithful to you? No, yeah, she was. I mean, so from what here's I know, the thing I don't understand. If there's faithfulness going on in the relationship. That doesn't mean that there's not other issues that, you know, happen. Because usually, majority of the times that relationships tend to separate is because of infidelity. Were there any suspicions of infidelity? No. And so you never cheated? Never never cheated so what are the arguments what what do the arguments consist of like what's what's going on with the argument i've always wanted to understand the the, i wanted to always dive deep into the elements of um two women relationships because two women relationships mm -hmm. because i do think that women tend to be feelings too many emotions you said it's too many feelings too many emotions yeah oh too many feelings, too many emotions. Between the two? Yeah, definitely, for sure. Well, if there's no infidelity and there's no, on either part, what are the, what what other emotions, I don't understand. Uh, because usually. When, I can't die, I can't because dig usually, deep into it. Because usually but. for with me and any situation that I'm involved with, there's always infidelity. Really? Honey. On both parts or just one part? Usually on, on one part. Mm. But Their part, your part? Theirs. Why do you think that always happens? Well, because they're men. And this is why I always be trying to figure out what's the, what's the 
like I'd like to know the, the, the two girls thing. Right. You know. It's not any better on this side. The bitches ain't shit either, to be honest. That's Wait a minute, how say. they not shit? Okay. No, that's when you all say I say. Bitches ain't shit. Okay, well, let's not talk about this last relationship. Let's talk about the two before this one. Mm-hmm. Let's talk about the high school sweetheart. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> that's a long time ago. Okay. What caused the situation? To, um, yeah. What, to separate? Yes. Honestly, I don't remember. Because it was so long ago. I really don't remember. I don't. I so, think she just didn't want to be with me no more. So if she returned to you today, would you? No. You wouldn't? No. Okay, I w- okay I'm not going to say we ended on bad terms. So maybe n- I wouldn't say no. I would say I would be open to it but in my headspace and mentality right now i don't i'm not i don't got the energy to learn someone again and be in, get into another relationship i'm not i don't have the emotional capacity right now to do it so my question let's talk about the term dating Okay. Okay. What are your what is your definition of dating? Of the term dating. What is your definition of that? Because there are many aspects of dating. Right. So for me, dating is I guess going out, having a good time, not taking anything too serious. Okay, you said not taking anything no. too serious? No, not unless you guys both agreed, like, okay, this is where we wanna go. You know what I mean? Like if we wanna get serious or you know into it for the long term but for me as a dating let's go out to dinner let's go get drinks let's go do something let's go have fun but to be on a consistent basis with that person no so when does your dating um evolve into relationship because when i ask you these questions you kind of uh got in a little emotional space so mm-hmm. obviously this last relationship that you were indulged in mm-hmm. was way beyond dating. This was a relationship. Oh yeah, this was a relationship. This was like the person I thought I was gonna marry. This is the person delusional. So <laughs> this is the person I thought we were gonna buy a house next year. I mean this is the person that they made me think like, okay, like you're, we're in it really for the long run. And so, what made you elevate this individual higher than your high school sweetheart or the two after your high school sweetheart? Was it something... I feel like it's the maturity and maturity and I guess, you know, that's how, I don't know. I think it's just the maturity of it. Like, and we're actually planning a future together and like, I treated her well, she treated me well. So, when did you start planning a future? In the dating process or when you, or when you guys? No, when we actually started like, getting into the relationship. So, you woke up one morning and said, hey, you know, we're no longer dating, it's, let's turn this into a relationship. No, we, when we were dating, she asked me out. She was like, hey, do, do you want to be my girlfriend? Like, do you want to go serious? Okay, so what is the terms before it becomes, hey, do you want to be my girlfriend what's the, what are those terms what what is, what is the terminology that you use what do you oh what, like date what do you mean like seeing each other like so it's not your hey that you're my girlfriend or is it just like because i would like girlfriend. to know oh it's friend it's yeah. still friend still friend if we're dating but we're not having nothing serious mm, okay we didn't establish anything oh. you know all right so i'm gonna go a little bit more personal. Oh Lord, how personal! For well, me? I'd like to know <laughs> at what point did you start having sexual relations? Okay, so I would say we talked what eight months, talked, dated eight months before getting into a relationship. So I would say after three months, we started becoming sexually, like I guess active. So what were you doing prior to those three months? Talking, going out on dates. Take it thing slow. Were you were you kissing, making out? Yeah, we were we were kissing, but it wasn't nothing like, oh my god, I'm, you know what I mean? It didn't make you horny while you were kissing and making out. It did. <laughs> and so you had the restraint to give yourself ninety days before you 
indulge into the um, sexual acts. Right. And 90 days after that, you were saying that you were girlfriends. And then 90 days after that, you were separated. Well, no, not 90 days after that, because we um, were together for two years. We talked for eight months, but we're together for two years. Okay, so you talk, so you're recording each other for eight months, basically, and then you became in a relationship. In a relationship after those eight months. For okay, t- put your thumb in the lamp like that. So actually, you were getting to know each other. Getting to know each other and dating for eight months. And in those eight months. Why didn't it last after two years? What happened? Was it you? I feel like it was both of us. Mm-hmm. I need to speak to her. No, yeah. Because there's something that you're not telling me. No, because I don't want to say this out loud in front of people on camera. Okay. Online. All right. In the shop. Yeah. Okay. It's, it's, I would most definitely respect your privacy in that, but I'm just yeah, trying to get personal. down to the basis of the way that, you know, two women get together mm-hmm. and they because you you know usually with me if I want to date I want to have sex immediately right because I don't have time to know if you have a good stroke game or not because I'm eventually dead. I'm not going to want to be with you if your stroke game is terrible is weak <laughs> or if you are not if we're not sexually compatible we're me, definitely compatible me, you shouldn't have waited so long I mean me, <laughs> okay but that's right. Right. right meaning because you still <laughs> broke up anyway so y'all should have fucked the first day I'm Turn good. the light on. It's not on? Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> I can definitely tell in this situation that when we're talk while we're talking about this that you're still healing. Oh yeah. For and that sure. you're still wounded by whatever transpired and in, in the whole thing. Is there any way to rectify it? Like to fix it? The relationship? Yeah. No, it's fine. I thought I thought um uh, I thought we would have been able to reconcile, but no. I just keep making things worse. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. Got it. Yeah. Well, I would I would think, you know, and there are a couple of people down saying that they really like your voice. Really? And they like you, and they want to actually... thank you. They'd like for you to call <laughs> in sometime and give them some real nasty phone sex. 1-800-fuck-my-twat. <laughs> I'm dead. Um, but I also have been sitting here listening to you, and as I'm sitting here listening to you, I'm hearing that you said that you've been in... How many relationships have you been? Five? It's been about No, five. no, no. Three. Three... Three serious relationships, okay. long term. All right. How many dating, like how much dating have you done? Mm. Not a lot. Well, if you haven't done a lot of dating. I think, okay, I don't know. I guess, I guess a lot, but not really a lot. Because I feel like, I don't know, being lesbian is so fucking weird. Because it's like once you find somebody you think you're compatible with you automatically are like okay let me get into a relationship with this person and see what happens you know what I mean? so you think it's different between two men or a trans woman and a man or a trans man and a woman i don't know because i'm not in the, you know so you can only speak from, only from, a, speak from, from a lesbian perspective correct yeah. and, and i feel like we move too fast too well lesbians. i do think oh you say as lesbians you Hell think yeah. well i do I don't think know why. well i do think that as anything gay or you know, trans based, I do feel like that we move quick, quickly. Quickly. Well, because it's, you know, if you've been. I wonder to- why, because it's true. The whole gay community, you just move too damn fast. Well, it's because it's very. The dating pool is disgusting. Yeah, it's fucking gross. I feel like everybody's been with everybody. Well, so. Being that that's a factor, you said that everybody's been with everybody. Right. What do you do about that? Do you just not be with anybody? That's a good question. 
Everybody well, that's has. why I moved here. So everybody here in Atlanta oh, honey, you moved here. is new. Wait, wait, hold on. God, wait. I moved here in March. Wait, excuse me. You moved here because you didn't think nobody was going to be. Everybody here has been with everybody here. Oh, yeah, I'm sure. But I'm new to the mix now, so. <laughs> Nobody that I know. But, um, but yeah. For sure. Sister, everybody here has been with everybody here. Oh, yeah, I'm sure. Okay. Not nobody I know, though. You may not know you know them, but you probably do. It's uh, this most definitely six degrees of separation here in Atlanta. Mm hmm Not as bad as Orlando. Or, Orlando's community is so small. Wait, you said not as bad as Orlando's community? Yeah, because you know Orlando is so tiny. And this is a bigger city. Orlando, it's like you literally, when you go out, you see the same people. You know everybody. This person knows this person. This person going with this person. And this happens in in the lesbian community too. Exactly. But I don't understand. Like, uh, women are wholesome and sacred, and they don't have sex the first day. Not all women. Oh. Not all women. Oh. Learn me something. Teach me. Mm -hmm. Well, I don't know. I'm not quick to hook up with people, so. You're not? No. Girl, you got to know if it's going to hit right or not. You have to know that. No, if I'm, if, okay, say, okay, if I'm not, if I know I'm not going to go anywhere far with you, I'll hook up with you, but not after the first night. I got to, like, hang out with you, like, a few times to see your hy hygienic, like, if you're hygienic. Girl, you know they hygiene's when they pull them panties down mm -mm. the first day. No, you'll be surprised. Tell me. I'd like, don't, I'd like to know. You said I'd be surprised. I'd like to know. I don't have a vagina. So I don't know. This you talking to me? I think sometimes you be forgetting. Like <laughs> I don't have a vagina, and so because I don't have a vagina, I don't. There are things I don't understand. So, and this is why I'm asking you these questions, because I like to be in a place of understanding. Because me, if I'm attracted to you and I feel like that it's it is what it is, you know, I don't have time to be sitting over here waiting on you to, to let me know if you got good sex or not. You gotta. Right. You gotta handle that. It needs to be I handled. Can. I can't move so fast. I have to at least like kind of like you before I even hook up with you. Ah. Or kind of feel something. Okay. Hmm. What you don't feel the same way about that? Well, I need to know if I'm gonna like you after we fuck, cause there's no reason mm -hmm. for me going two and three months and six months and shit like that. And I'm sitting over here, and I'm like, girl, you can't even, you can't suck no dick. <laughs> I got dick. You can't suck no dick. You can't, you don't know how to hit, you can't fuck. I'm good. You can't take no dick. Like, what's, what's going on here? And now I'm all over here in my feelings, and I live for you, and I'm in love, and I'm in love with you, and you can't satisfy me. You are not in love with someone after three months. That's impossible. Who told you that? No, I don't, girl, believe, I don't believe that can happen. Girl, please, I can get married entirely too fast see this is the community that we live i can get married <laughs> i can get married after three months it's just time i can't i like to take shit slow it's time three months i could be married listen it's time honey three what are you is not time girl to really Fuck no. girl in the first 30 days i know if you bathe your ass or not mm -hmm. In the first 30 days, I know if you bathe your ass or not. I don't need th I don't need six months to know if you're going to bathe. Girl, do you know how long 90 days is? Girl, that's a probationary period at a job. You start getting your benefits and stuff exactly. after 90 days. Exactly. It's a probation period. So, girl, you could be... Girl, what you mean? You could be married after 90 days. Okay. What, you done past the probationary period? That's Ooh. all I got so far. Mm. It's going to take forever. I need to stop talking. Girl, it's not going to take forever. This is making it go fast. No, it's not. Not for me. We should have been done. Get what I am. Really? Yeah, really. <laughs> you don't want to do it anymore? 
I want to, but I need to focus. So you don't want me to talk to you about this anymore? I feel like it's getting into my head, too. So you're starting to think? Can you turn on the light? Well, like, oh. So it's distracting you? It is, because now I'm moving slower. Oh, so now I'm, I'm, I'm kind of getting to the root of your problem. Maddie, stop. I am. <laughs> I, find, I feel that the root is what? you really don't know how to open up. And when you open up, you lose focus. Maybe. Yeah, you're right. I'm to myself. I don't like to open up. Mm. So That's why it takes me so long to do it. You know what I mean? For everything. Because I don't open up too fast. Maybe you did get to the root of the problem. Probably. Tune in to next episode. Ooh, okay. <laughs> they say y'all gonna ban me from the nail shop. Because <laughs> I'm getting too much into your business, girl. They say y'all gonna ban me from the nail shop, honey. Everybody's probably like eating popcorn back there, like, damn. There's people really sitting on the live listening. Oh, they said that's a true Scorpio trait. It, it, that. it is. Unfortunately. Ah, oh, they say that's why you went to school for psychology. To try to more understand yourself. Who went to school for psychology? You? I didn't go to school for, just for psychology. Who said that? Nah, uh, put that hand. What, oh. what are you doing? Come here. <laughs> you see, we're losing focus. No, girl, you aggressive. I like that. Oh, you like that? Yeah. There's another Scorpio chair. We're super aggressive. Very dominant. Do you use a strap? Girl, we are in a nail shop. Where they can hear me and you? Yes, they can. And they're probably tuning in on this live right Yeah. Oh. If they let me. Ah. Oh. I'd like to see. Oh, you want to see? Ah. Oh. Ah. Oh. I'm dead, girl. Shut. So you consider yourself a top? I'm a switch. Oh, you're a mattress. You're a pancake, like yeah. me. Yeah. Oh, because I'm definitely a pancake, honey. Oh, yeah? Oh, baby, listen. Brown me on one side, flip me on the other. Uh, I'm dead. <laughs> ah. Okay, put that one in. They saying I got you so nervous. No, literally. I'm nervous as fuck. Really? Yeah, because I'm not a really open person. So to even be on this But side, they can't see your face or nothing. I know. But, but still. okay, so my question is, do you feel comfortable? You, even though you're nervous, but you feel comfortable talking to me. Yeah, because I'm, you know. And I'm not I'm, making you it's feel. It's you. It's you, yeah. Right. So this is what I was trying to, like, because I've been, I've been, I, I, I'm working on a thing with this podcast with, with um, with some people and my pitch to them was one thing about me about my personality I can get anybody to get naked with me mm. and I mean get naked as far as take it all off and be comfortable like being vulnerable be vulnerable be comfortable because you know I'm already I already come to you naked right there's I don't have any you know I don't come to you with any because res- I'm telling you about my things too like girl I like to this is what I like to do in the first night because 
first day. This is how I feel about three, four months. Mm. So this is what I was trying to explain to the people when I was pitching them the whole situation was it's like, I can get naked with anybody because you come I already come horrible. naked, Yeah, you know. And every time that I'm doing an interview with people or um, every time I do an interview with people and stuff like that, mm-hmm. uh, they always leave and they always tell me, Master, you made me feel so comfortable mm-hmm. talking to you about shit that I wasn't, what I, that I wasn't, you know, comfortable, talking, comfortable about, right? talking to you about. Like, that's how, that's just a gift that I got. Because I'm coming in the door naked. Come on in. <laughs> Come on in, honey. Uh, wait, what y'all, what's going on in the comments down here? Y'all is going crazy down here. What are they saying? I don't know. I can't see. <gasps> wait, they saying some dirty stuff to my daughter. Chi Chi, what is going on down here? <laughs> what is going on down here? Girl, this is cute already. Thank you. Mm. You know, Monique told me that. Like, after I interviewed Monique, when she got up and left from um, the table, she said, Madison, I didn't feel like I was being interrogated. She said, I didn't feel like it. She said, I just felt very comfortable, you know, and I felt, I just felt comfortable. I didn't feel like that you were trying to badger me to give or whatever. You just let me talk and you just asked me what, you know. And I was like, yes. You know. I know I've been having them. um, I've been having them uh, people stalking me and carrying on. You know, that's the same thing Lee told me. Lee told me that too. He said, Madison, I would have never told anybody the stuff that I told you on my show. So I want to do a podcast about, you know, it's called Getting Naked with T.S. Madison. <laughs> when are you going to start this podcast? I don't know. Like, I've been pitching this stuff around and been communicating. Uh-huh. It's not, it probably not won't be called that. It'll be called something else. But just, But basically, that'll be the premise of it. Like, you know. We come in with all the clothes off, honey, all of it off. Right. Um, so, it was the same thing like with Nikki. Like, what y'all will never give him my credit for all the stuff that I done did in this community. But before Nikki got married and before she even put Queen album out, I went on Queen Radio. And I sat down with her, and she had not been talking about that shit with nobody. And I, she told me when she was getting married. She told me when the album was coming out. All that stuff, just because she's always felt comfortable talking to, like, she's always felt comfortable talking the dirtiest shit with me. She's always felt comfortable just opening up, talking to me. Because, you know, I come to the door, like I told her, girl, I come in this bitch naked. So when I come in the bitch motherfucking naked... I ain't, try, I ain't got nothing to hide. You see everything. You see my scars. You see my dents. Mm-hmm. You see my you see my imperfections because I don't got. I'm not covering anything up. You know. Ooh. Girl, you're a real artiste. I see. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Mm-hmm. God, this is my throw on wig. This ain't even my good wig. Chi Chi, what's going on down there in the comment section? I be, I'm seeing somebody saying, fuck me, sis. It's a lot going on down there. I ain't even looking at the comments. Bank, so you said you finna go bathe. Baby, that's a lot of body to bathe. You done got real thick. I've been seeing you down there eating all that cornbread, honey. Wherever you been, you done got real thick. Mm-hmm. Real thick real thick honey it's too much sauce you said please do a video with Beyonce 
that would be my dream come true. I really wish I could do a video with Beyonce. That would be my dream come true. Mm. I see. I've been looking at you over there thick, honey. You've been eating some. What city you been eating all that cornbread, honey? They got you real thick like that. Thighs thick, legs thick. <laughs> Back thick, honey, arms thick, child. They said you was down there to the gym real thick. I know somebody got that ass eating that ass from the bag. I know it. I know somebody eating them cakes from the bag, honey. That's a big old box of Quaker oatmeal, baby. Mm -hmm. Cause you know that oatmeal be real thick, honey. When you gonna put no milk in it? I mean, when you put some cream, it's real. Real thick Quaker. Those ain't instant oats. Those are the Quaker oats. <laughs> home style oats. Yes. They say, come on, Nail. Oh. Oh. Doing the outline takes forever. It's okay. It's, gonna, it's beautiful. You say, you know how you give it, baby? They say you, baby, the last time I saw you, you was thicker than cold grits, bitch. You hear me? <laughs> Steel oats, honey. Uh, you say, do I smoke? No, I mean, you know, I mean, I have a little pen. So every so, so often I might do a little pen. You know, they saying uh, I stopped therapy session. Now you doing your work? Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! They said good to see you behaving. She was about to shut down and lock the door. Yes, God. <laughs> mm. Mm. Hi, Maddie Nicole. Mm. Thank you, pretty dimple. Hello. How are you? Okay. Does she have a BBA? No, that's her. That's her body. Yeah, she works out. I know. I could never. You say you be seeing me on Instagram? Yes. Mm -hmm. I'm always on how are you? Yes. Um, they're asking me, are you adding diamonds? I don't know. Um, She's gonna do a couple of things. Cause we're trying to do like I'm trying to like do like a pop art type of thing. So I don't know if I do incorporate diamonds into the set, how I would do it. So I'm gonna see once I get once I get whatever I'm envisioning onto the nails. We'll see. Mm -mm -mm. I want to watch Dorothy Dandridge when I get home. Dorothy Dandridge, uh, when um, Holly Berry played Dorothy Dandridge. Dorothy Dandridge. Who could ask for anything more? Mm -hmm. You said we cut up last night. Something happened? Okay. Something happened? No, I'm good now. I was about to freak out. All right. I'm loving it so far. You, this is only the beginning. And this is just the beginning. Literally. You about to turn it up. Yeah, just a little bit. You about to Betty Boot me, girl? <laughs> is you about to Betty Boot me? Maybe. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Embedded Stylist. Thank you. Um, they're saying that they like the simplicity of the look now. Thank you. Ask them, do you guys know what pop art nails are? If you don't, go ahead and look them up right now. 
so you can kind of have like a what is it um an idea of what i'm doing Y'all still talking about last night live. Girl, that was a lie. <laughs> what were you guys talking about? Girl, now? it was a lot going on last night. <laughs> Jamaica came on my live last night. Lunel came on my live. It was a lot. Flame came on for a few minutes, but it was a lot going on last night. I'm um, going say, how much do the nails cost? Mm, it depends when I'm done. I got to total everything together. You must can feel my eyes because I see you smirking right there. Mm-hmm. What? I see you over there smirking, girl. I was, I was like, she must have really feel my eyes looking at her. <laughs> no, I didn't even know you were what looking she's at talking me. About. How, much is, how much does it cost, girl? I got these two smaller so I can do my eye, my contacts. I have I work, you know, so I can see. Oh, yeah, do people ask you about that all the time? Like, oh, why are these two smaller? Well, I went to New Orleans once, and it was a great nail tech... Nail, nail technician in New Orleans. She did my nails all different sizes, and I really liked it. She did them different sizes. Was different. that an accident or? No, she did them different sizes and different shapes. Mm. And I was like, "Ooh, I like this. This is cute." Mm. And I kept the nails for a while, like getting fill-ins, uh -huh. until somebody fucked it up and just decided that they wanted to, to even them out. Yeah. Did you tell them you wanted it like no, that, though? No, girl, I was talking on my phone. Oh, that, and you weren't noticing what they were doing? Mm -hmm. Thank you, Quill. What did you do? Quick from, to, like, short to long? Quick to slick. Yeah, I did short, long, medium. Um, I did uh, a U. Like, one of the nails, she made, like, a big, a real deep U in it. The C-curve? Yeah. Mm -hmm. One of them, though. And then one, she... It was so cute. I thought it was so cute. I was in New Orleans. And I went to uh, her shop and did it, and it was so cute. And I was getting feelings afterwards, and everybody else didn't, they didn't understand what was going on. You know how y'all right. get like, well, why are your nails not evened out? Right. Um, Kevin, Kevin, you said my nail tech has a very lovely voice. Oh, thank you, Kevin. Girl, what, you need to, you keep hearing this. You might need to get a side hustle on. On um, what voice? King, king.com. King. King.com. King. 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 Mm -hmm. K-E-E-N, I think it's King. Yeah, I should. You start doing phone sex. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, you do that? You say, <laughs> uh. These are cute, girl. And you know, I've been looking at you do this on your page, but I haven't. Um, oh, with Tammy's nails? Yeah, with Tammy's nails and stuff like that. But I saw you do this on your page with something else. Who? Somebody else you did this on. This is on my page or it was on my story or something? Mm -hmm. They said you should do this monthly therapy with the nail tech. Girl, I be in here every other week down there. <laughs> Thank you, Jay Lee's Corner. How you been? How you been, Jay Lee? Um, you said, Maddie, what's the website? It's called Keen. Okay, I, I think it's called Keen because I used to do it. I used to have it. I actually used to have Chi Chi do it for me back after I got tired of doing it. Um, yeah, Allegra's good. After I got tired of doing it, I used to have Chi Chi doing all my phone sex for me. Chi Chi be like, yeah, nah. <laughs> Ain't sound nothing like me. Yeah, nah. <laughs> Oh, thank you, Queen. I've been looking at you and stuff like that. You've been really doing your reviews and stuff. I'll be following you. You know I'm subscribed to your channel. Oh, Chi Chi to my baby. Are you? Oh, Chi Chi, you still there? Girl, Chi Chi used to be down in the... You know. I'm like, Chi Chi, that's not how I answer the phone. You know. <laughs> What's up, baby? Okay. Oh, baby, yes. Baby. And the first thing she'll start talking about is, come in me, baby. Come in me. I'm like, girl... You ain't even, because I bust in on her in the conversation. I'm like, girl, you ain't even real the man in. You already talking about coming to me, girl. We need to keep him online long enough to, to make the, the money. To make the money, girl. You already talking about coming to me, girl. I mean, damn. You do that at the end, girl. At the end. You <laughs> to all get them get off the phone. <laughs> come at me, baby. Come at me. I'm like, girl. 
You you gonna make my nipples go down. You can't make me baby. Put that hand in one more time. Like Chi Chi, damn. I came in the room one time, honey. She just laying in the bed. Uh, 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 come at me. I'm like, girl, we need to keep the man on the phone longer than a minute. Mm-hmm. Hey, Roman Xavier, fine ass. What's up, boo? That's my fine ass nephew down there. My fine ass nephew. Um. You say hello, Chichi. Say hello. Yeah. Nah. I'm like, girl. Girl, I used to have, it was called Keen.com. I used to have a phone sex line connected to my website. And it would make Girl. a lot of money. Yeah, that Put should Put just your thumb in like that. Yeah, my friend used to do that after high school. Let me explain to you. I know how to make. Take that hand out. I know how to survive in the world. Just the thumbs. Like that. Yeah. I'm not, I know how to survive, bitch. I'm going to make money. Some mm-hmm. kind of way. It's going to come. I'm going to use what I got to get what I need. And when I got real busy, I made I, I gave Chi Chi a percent. I gave Chi Chi a monthly percent, and Chi Chi would lay there in that room and be like, you know. <laughs> uh, 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 uh. And then he bust out to my, he coming me. I'm like, girl, already? For real? Mm-hmm. And then one of them niggas was like, you not T.S. Madison. I know T.S. Madison voice. You're not T.S. Madison. And she was like, I am, baby. He clocked her. He was like, I mm-hmm. am. It is me. I am. Mm-hmm. He said, I've been a member of your site for a long time, bitch. <laughs> like, and this is not this it. This is not you. <laughs> I am, baby. It's me. It's me. Oh, oh. Come in me, baby. Come in me. You know, you start telling somebody to come in you, girl. That's the, the session over. Well, you don't. You haven't had no penis. No, I can't relate. So you mm-hmm. can't relate to that. But you start screaming out, "Come in me, come in me!" You know this. You, this here. <laughs> <laughs> it's time to let. This, it's time to hang the phone up now. Come in me, come in me. I'm like, Chichi girl, go on somewhere with that. And I was like, let me take over this call. I'm like, yeah, hi, baby. Yeah, I'm standing here right now. I have my long hard cock. Can you see it? Huh? I can't hear you, baby. Can you see my long hard cock? Oh yes. Ooh. Ooh, you just breathe a lot, girl. Just let them breathe with you. Mm. What are you doing to me right now? Cause I can tell you what I'm gonna do to you. I was like, Chi Chi, you need to really reel them in. And you really need to talk to them. Like, you have to talk to the men. You have to talk to the men. Talk to them. Don't tell them to just, don't start telling them to just come in, you girl. You said not in the nail shop. Ain't nobody in here no more. Girl, ain't nobody in here. It's just us now. I was so mad at that hole. I was because you know I get the the, the, the specs and so the so the logistics to come back and mm-hmm. then to come back. This call lasted one minute thirty two seconds. <laughs> this call lasted thirty two seconds. This call lasted fifty nine seconds. I'm like uh uh-uh. uh no. No, Chi Chi. <laughs> you say you you taking those because you you used to be used to want to be a phone sex specialist. Yeah, I'm telling you, like when I used to, and like on the days when I was off, or I ain't really had nothing to do, what I would do is I would go in my room and I would just lay down and just turn my phone sex on and I would do phone sex all day. All day long. All day. Who lied, Chi Chi? Now you know damn well you can keep a man on the phone longer than 10 minutes. You know that. If, if I kept a man on the phone 10 minutes, I used to, how much I used to charge a minute? I think I used to charge three ninety nine a minute or five ninety nine a minute or something like damn. that. Damn. Yeah, I would charge like either three ninety nine or five ninety nine a minute. And my phone would ring all day. And then when it, when it was, like, time for me to, like, when Chi-Chi started doing it, I dropped the bitch down to, like, 99 cents 
a minute. Because mm. I knew she was like, I was at least let me get a dollar. Because mm. she was, <coughs> yeah, nah. like her old grandma. Yeah, nah. <laughs> and then I bring it back up to a dollar or a dollar ninety nine. Because, you know, Chi Chi started getting good after I started coaching Chi Chi and started training Chi Chi on how to do it. He would, he would start getting good. He said, on what website? It's called Keen, K-E-E-N. But it's called another place. It's, it routes your, it routes to another place. And so Chi Chi's okay, to be Okay, put a, just the thumb in by itself. Let me see. You know, I don't put Chi Chi on a lot of stuff. My daughter, I don't took, I don't had my daughter with me for a long time. My daughter done got all kind of tips. When I leave this earth, Chi Chi should be filled with such knowledge. <laughs> if he's still here when I leave this earth, Chi Chi should be filled with vast amounts okay, of knowledge. Okay, put this thumb next to the other thumb like that. Yeah. Chi Chi should be filled with vast amounts of knowledge because Chi Chi has been with me the longest. He has been with me the long out of anybody that I've been around and been with Chi Chi has been with me the long the longest. And so he has Chi Chi should know how to read CMS. I mean he should know how to run CMS. Chi Chi should know how to read HTML. Chi Chi should know how to edit. Chi Chi should know these things because these are things that I taught my daughter. I told her girl, anytime you are in the need to make money and now, one thing you got to tell them, Chi-Chi, you have to tell them, I have always told my daughter, you need to work for yourself because you a punk. And by you being a punk and and nobody can't, and Chi-Chi don't like, nobody, Chi-Chi will fight people on the job because a person came on Chi-Chi's job, Chi-Chi, Chi-Chi tried to break their ass on, on her job. Chi Chi will fight you on your on his job. Whatever job he work at, you will get fought if you come in there with the bullshit. He will fight you on the clock. And I used to tell Chi Chi, daughter, you got to understand that you are a faggot, and you are a lie, you are a gay, and you are you, your gay is visible on you. And because you are a visible homosexual, you need to try to find a skill set or something to work for yourself. You need to work for yourself because you're gonna always be tested and tried. You need to, I'm, and I, and I, I, I don't, and you need to because these people will try you, and you will, and you. We from Florida, we don't care about that kind of stuff. I, I don't know how much I can give this to y'all that we're from Florida. We don't care about that. We don't care about. We don't care if you. We don't care about those things, and we will go to we will go to jail. We know this, cause I have had the bond Chi Chi out numerous times from jail. You know, but my thing is, I used to always tell, used to try to instill that in Chi Chi, like, girl, you need to watch me. You need to watch how I move. You need to watch how. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> I was like, Chi Chi, you need to watch how I move. You need to watch how I make money. You need to watch. I always put Chi Chi in places to see things, like to watch how I make money in my sleep. Now, Chi Chi, you can get down there in the comment section and tell them, bitch, I have always made money in my sleep. I have always, bitch. This was way before YouTube. This was way before fucking social media, bitch. Because the great one taught me. When I got, when I first met Miss Eve, Miss Eve was doing all that computer shit, and I didn't know nothing about that. When I tell you she sat me down, and she was like, that's why I'm her daughter. When I tell you she sat me down, and she was like, bitch, listen, I got things to do. I'm not finna be sitting up here doing all this stuff for you. I'm finna teach you this shit one time. I'm finna show you this shit one time. Now, I will help you when you fuck it up. But I'm finna teach you this shit one time. So sit down right here next to me and learn. And bitch, when I got here to Atlanta, I was hungry. I ain't had nowhere to motherfucking live. And bitch, I learned all I needed to learn from her. 
And when I learned everything I needed to learn from her, I didn't bother her. She just, she, she stood back as a proud parent and she watched me grow. She watched me, cause I had a different hunger, bitch. I was like, I'm not finna ever be broke no more. You know? Okay, put that in your name. This one? Yeah. Oh, this is cute. You like it? Yes. You and Tim are twins? Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. She sat me down, and she sat me down, and she told me that she was not doing it. She said, Myrtle, you're not finna be coming in here. She said, I have I have a date. <laughs> I remember her telling me, I have a date. You're not finna be aggravating me with this shit all day. Now, you better learn how to, you better sit right here next to me and learn how to read these fucking codes. Read this HTML, bitch, and you better pay attention. I was sitting right next to her with a damn notepad, like, girl, mm -mm, I'm never finna be broke no more, bitch. And that just, she, and that's what she birthed. Oh, I know she looking down on me. I know she looking down on me, proud of me. I know it because that was my mama. She was never jealous of me. Never. I could have it like when I, and when my star started crossing over into um, doing mainstream shit, she would get up in the middle of the night and she would curl my hair. She would get, like if I had two, three weeks need to be curled, she would sit up all night and she would curl my hair all night and have that shit lined up. And, um, I don't think that, uh, oh, thank you. Thank okay, you. thank you. Oh, that's not for me. <laughs> <laughs> oh. If I could say that, like, out of all my train, out of all the friends that I had, besides my daughter, she because she treat my daughter, so that don't count. But out of all my friends that I ever had, that has that was my only friend. And it's a lot of bitches that done crossed me, and they use her death. And shit like that to try to to try to pull me out the corner to cuss their ass out. I won't do it. Mm -mm, I won't do it. But bitch, that was my friend. I never felt we never competed with nothing. We never competed with anything. We never, bitch, never. Never. We was never in competition with nothing. If she was talking to a boy and she found out that boy was talking to me, she wasn't talking to her no more. And it was the same way with me. Bitch, you, you talking to her? Oh, I'm good. The same way. Yeah, they always doing that. They always be using her death. And I be seeing, like, I watched two, I, I watch two ragged-ass faggots sit on live the other day on Bego. Two raggedy punks sit on Bego and say some shit about that. And I was like... I ain't gonna do it, Madison. I'm not. You're not gonna pull me out of the covers to do that. I'm not gonna do it. Cause first of all, Miss Eve was a live bitch. She would have steamboat at you hoes. If she was a live bitch and seeing y'all saying that fuck shit about me, she would have steamboat at y'all. That's what you don't know. I like it with the shine, girl. No, Tammy had it with the mat. I told her, I convinced her to do the mat because that's the pop art with the mat. That's what makes it cosmic and makes it pop. It just, yes. My, Maddie, need, my nails no, need to last. Maddie, they are going to last. Uh -uh. My nails no, need to last. Convinced. Anybody that is the pop art. Girl, my nails need to last, girl. They are going to last. I promise you. With the mat, this mat is a good Chichi, mat. Chichi, you say you miss cold. your grandma, Miss Eve? Yes, ma'am. Chichi, I'm finna send you something, girl. You finna be so mad, but I don't want you to say nothing when I send it to you. You gonna be so mad. You gonna be so mad. And I will, all I'm gonna say is, I wish that night I would've let you beat that whole ass. 
That's all I'm gonna say. I wish that night that I would have let you drop kick that hole in her throat. That's all I'm gonna say. When I send you this, you're gonna be ready, but don't you say a word. But I just wish you would have dropped. I wish that I would have let you drop kick that hole in the back of her motherfucking neck. Funny looking ass hoe. Mm -hmm. Funny looking ass, lying ass motherfucking hoe. Put just that thumb in by yourself. I don't say Chi Chi from a lot of y'all. A lot of y'all that be trying me. And bitch, if my other daughter was to ever get involved, bitch, it'll be deaf to smoochy. <laughs> you say he still can drop kick that hoe? He might. I don't know. I don't know. Especially after I show him what I show him. He might. Who knows? Okay, put this thumb in next to the other one like that. So where did, where did the gloss go? That's what I'm saying. It's a matte top coat. That's what makes the pop art pop art. It's the matte. So I don't, I can't have it shiny? I don't know. We're not doing shiny. We're going to give this a chance. Girl, what I'm going to do? Different is good. Different is good. <laughs> <laughs> Show the audience. So I don't, you know, so, you don't, see this so you, I shouldn't put a top coat on nope, it? Nope, it's a top coat already. It's a matte top coat. That's what makes it so cosmic and pop. It looks realistic. This is out of a comic. These are iconic. <laughs> I know, Chi Chi, I'm finna send you something too, girl. It was gonna really make you mad. Cause it made me mad. I sent it to my mama. My mama was like, oh. My mama was heated. Matt, pop art, okay? I wanna, I can't do glossy. No, we're not doing glossy. You know that I'm not used to this. I know, and Tammy's not either. But Tammy was like, okay, fuck it, we'll try it. Matt, let's do it. Sister, this is gonna be weird for me. No, it's not. Just give it a chance. Girl. <laughs> I'm gonna be weirded out by this. Why? They look cute. They are the tea, but it's. I'm gonna be weirded. It's not. <laughs> what? <laughs> she doesn't like the matte top coat. And what? look how good they look. <laughs> Shiny I know looks shiny good looks I good. like the matte on it with the cosmic pop. I mean, I like the matte more than shiny. It stays clean. You see? I know. It stays clean. I need it to stay clean. So, and why couldn't you just be like, leave the fucking No, mat. I need it to stay clean because if it don't stay clean, I'm going to be back down here and I can't, I'll be on the road, I'm girl. Sure yes, I can't be... Shut up, Serene. <laughs> He's doing this on purpose. Where'd the little box go for this one? That's crazy. Um, I sit like people saying it needs gloss. Some people saying it's look. Hey, Rock, what's going on, baby? I I know this gonna terrorize me, girl. Please. Okay, okay, okay. I love right. you. But at least we looked at it. We looked at it without no gloves. Okay, well, let me take a picture. Of okay, gloves. we'll take a picture let me take without a no video gloves. With the, with okay, the yeah. Okay. With the mat. Hey, hey, yes, with the mat. Hey, Vanessa Van Cartier. We'll change it, unfortunately. <laughs> unfortunately. Serene, you will put like gloss on it, wouldn't you? He likes the matte more. Cause you know I, I do I do wear my lipstick and my you know I put my makeup on and stuff. So <laughs> yeah, like I say, I like the matte more, but it makes more sense if you wear glossy because you do um, wear makeup and stuff. Yeah, mm -hmm. girl, then I'm gonna be over here washing my hands down like this. Okay, study washing my hands. <clears throat>
Go on and take your picture so that you can see it. They say now they, say now they gotta see it with gloves. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> You know what? I'm Girl, gonna just quit. <laughs> don't, you not. Are y'all closed? No, not yet. What time y'all closed? The day Saturday. Seven. Well, you ain't got time to do my feet. No, you could do your toes. No, you could do your toes. Oh. You gonna do my toes? Yeah. Like this? Yeah. Oh, I know. I'm gonna do a solid color. Yeah. I'm not doing all that. You're I'm not gonna fine. do the tip toe? Nope. At least the big toe. Nope. I'm not doing all that. You're not gonna do the tip toe? Nope. At least the big toe? Nope. Girl, that's tired, girl. Oh, <laughs> That is sad. You already make it do. No, you uh, you said you're gonna do a video. I'll do it after. I, fuck it, I'll do one with the gloss. Cause I posted Tammy's last night with the mat, so I guess I'll post it with gloss this time. They saying they very pretty. Oh, see, you. I love it. I love that. Shiny, shiny. Yes. Shiny. Girl, you could have put a stone or something on here. You want to put a stone? No, I'm going to leave it simple like this. Okay. I'm going to leave it simple. Then when I come back and get a feel, uh -huh. we'll, ju we'll, ju we'll jazz it up. We'll just it up. You want to do the same thing next time? You don't want to do something different? Well, we could do... Because I thought you were going to do that other thing. Remember how you showed me them other ones with the... Like, it, had, it looked like Betty Boop was on it. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. See how it look? It look good with gloves. Look, it just... I'm not going to say anything. She's going to hit me. Right. <laughs> <clears throat> I'm like fuck everybody. <laughs> they said, "What's her Instagram? She does good work." I'm gonna tag. I'm gonna save this video, and I'm gonna tag her in it. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> okay, they said, "Mother, you can't add stones to pop art because it's, then it's not gonna be pop art." Okay, I won't do this. I won't do none of that this week. This week. I won't do none of that. Are you going to be able to do my feet? Yeah, yeah. I'm going to do your toes. Are you sure? Yeah. Let me see. Okay. Put that in here. <laughs> Okay, I know you happy about the gloss. I'm not, but it's okay. It's all right. It's okay. See, you you can do nails. I don't I don't I don't know how to do this kind of like keep I keep this stuff about washing my hands. I don't want nothing to get on here. Yeah, I feel you because they're gonna get dirty easily. Yeah. Right. Well, all you can do is just you scrub them with alcohol and it'll come out. You said scrub it with alcohol. Mm -hmm. Girl, what time I got to be doing? I just need to wash my hands girl, <laughs> and go and go. Okay, Matt might be better. All right, I would say Matt might be better, but y'all already know I'm a, and I have to keep maintenance going on. That maintenance be high, girl. What's the difference? You can't really even see no difference. It's just now it's protected. Look at that. <laughs> now it's protected. It's protected. <laughs> now, now, it's, now it's a condom on it. It's a condom on it. It's a condom on it now. You know what I'm saying? See? It's protected. It's protected now. They still look good. It's protect. It's the gloss. Let me see. Oh. Uh -uh. Careful. What happened? What are they saying? I love the glossy. Okay. I love this. Let me see. They loving the glossy. For real? They loving it. Thank they you. Let me see. The reason why I like 
Veronica is because Veronica takes me out of my comfort zone with nails. Like, sometimes I'll sit down and I'll just let Veronica do my nails. I'll just be like, okay, girl. She'll be like, no, Madison, this is what we're going to do. <laughs> it don't be like, she don't ask. She's like, no, Madison, this is what we're going to do. We're going to do this. This is what your nails are going to look like. We're going to do this. I'm like, girl, but I want no. And then I get them and be like, <gasps> And be like, okay, okay. Okay, I love it. I love it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But. When the light turns off, um, just put both your thumbs in together like that. I'm going to set up your petty chair, okay? But you you put gloss on this? Yeah. You didn't see me just put gloss on there? Why, is, why do you think your hand's in the light? Oh. So when the light go out, you say put, bo put both your thumbs in by themselves, like this. How okay. Doing? Okay. Go ahead. There you go. Oh, they saying Christmas nails next. Christmas nails next. What? What's the thing? Oh yeah, it's the tent. I see glitter, snowflakes, okay, some art. That's what you see. see? Yep, I already see it in my head. Girl, head. so are you gonna do these? Are they gonna be red or green? Neither. We can incorporate those two colors, and I'm thinking of more like a champagne gold, like something like that. That would be cute. Hi, baby. How you doing? What you came in here to do? Get your nails done. Your feet. Come on, sit by me, honey, and get your feet done. Mm -hmm. How are you? You walked in here, I'm like, child, I know this person know me because I just seen it by your eyes. <laughs> How you doing? You so tall. I can't complain. Hug my neck, child. How are you? I'm great. Oh, you was tall at the door. <laughs> child, I'm all right, honey. I'm just, um, this is my off day. And you know I'm on here on my get doing my little nails. So you like you proud of me? Thank you, baby. It, it be from all my prayers, all the prayers from my folks that support me that keep me moving. Keep look at that, look. Are mm. oh, you on live? Oh yeah. <laughs> Always. Always. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, my folks love me the blood to be on a journey with me. Look, but they it look, look good. good. They look they, good. They look good. Hannah. They look good, y'all. Mm, look. Okay, thank you. <laughs> look. Let me see this hand real quick. Okay. You about to get your feet done? Who gonna do it, Veronica? Uh, this is my first time at this location. Really? Yeah. So Everybody I'm does a really good job. They I'm do? I'm hoping I can get squeezed in. No, yeah, you can. Everybody does a really good job here. Yeah, they like this. I mean, they not know Wakanda forever nails. <laughs> <laughs> they most definitely Betty Boo. They look really good. They look That's good. The, like, yeah, like yeah. the, the yeah, art pop yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. But instead of the mat, we want the gloss. Girl, we we needed to go with the gloss. It is cute, girl. And she's going to do my feet now. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Um, I feel like I'm missing a I don't know. Can really you charge like this phone for me, Veronica? Yeah, All right, y'all. I'm about to get my feet done. I, I did the nails with y'all. Y'all can't get into my hooves. You know, I'm hungry. You ain't hungry. I just ate. What you ate? Right here. Chupello, honey. Chupello? Right here. I ate it, uh, uh, at the, the salad place next to KL, my name. KL, my Also, um, Big, Big B's Fish. I have, I've eaten over there before. It's good. Mm -hmm. They need to put a little more season on their stuff. Because it's, I mean. And in this place, they take the little kitchen back there. People coming in. But, but they need to, ain't nothing wrong with a little more season. <laughs> Now, people with high blood pressure and stuff know you got to cook at home or it's going to be some more salt outside. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Uh, you know. Oh. Yeah. Get that oh. thing. Get the man on chill. I don't know. Maybe he thinks that. Yeah. Y'all let me go. I'll talk with y'all later on. I love you. i see y'all later on. Uh, oh, yeah. My index finger. This I did this shorter so that I can go on my eye like this and pull my contact out and put it and change my contact. Thank you so much. You're welcome, love. So, I'm going to go. Girl, you don't, you don't want them to see you, do you? Uh, my lashes look crazy, but this is me. <laughs> look how cute you look. You look cute. Thank you. <laughs> but she a top, though. Girl, that's what y'all tops do. Y'all tops be turning around like that. 
Anyway, I'm finna go, y'all, because my phone actually about to die. But I love y'all, and my other phone about to die, too. Chi-Chi, I'm finna send you something, bitch. I'm gonna call you in one second. Bye, y'all.